Hey girls, it's Jenny with Planner Perfect. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to stop procrastinating. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back, you guys. Um, this is going to be a short one, but it's going to really bless you. I think we all, us, we can we can suffer from procrastination. You know, we're wondering why we don't accomplish the things we say we want to do and we what we write out to do. So some of the things that I've learned and what I understand it now and have applied has just been revelation to me and will be to you too. So, you know, nothing is really just quick, simple in a one word type of answer. But once some of the reasons why, before I get to the main reason that you are going to want to make some changes so that you do stop procrastinating and begin to create behavioral changes to get things done is that first of all, you got to do a little bit of some introspection. There could be some things going on where you're either over planning, you're putting too much in your plans, you're doing things that you could maybe be delegating out or changing days or switching things around. That's the beauty of the Planner Perfect Method as well, is that it always puts you into the state of introspection. You're always checking on what you're doing and making sure that are you even living your best life? And so when you do plan with this method, you're a visionary and of course, living your best life is one of the top things on your mind. So once you kind of get all of that out of the way, you, you evaluate that and you're like, okay, well, all of this I've looked at and I need to do it and I like that and I've changed it, but I still kind of procrastinate in certain areas that I really, really want to accomplish. Well, here is one of the, this is why you are procrastinating. And that is simply this. Are you ready? This is going to bless you. What you speak doesn't match up with what you do. And you've kind of created a pattern of that. So you'll say something and you do something different. You write something down and you do different. And you've creating, you've created a pattern that you say something that you don't follow through with. And so now you've really kind of created this space that in your mind that you don't even trust what you say. So you've got to reprogram your mind that what you say is what you do. And it's just a reprogramming and it's a discipline. It's doing what you say you're going to do. So this can apply to anything that you have going on in your life. If you promised a friend that you're going to go do something and you kind of make it a habit to kind of back out like, ah, you know, this is going on, this is going on. If you start to make a decision and a choice that every time you do commit to something, which by the way, will also change the way you respond to people that ask things of you is that you'll actually mean what you say. So you're going to actually think about it first instead of, instead of like, well, I don't want to hurt their feelings. So I'll just say yes. And then maybe I'll back out later via text because I can do that. So you're going to want to make sure that you can really do it and follow through first. And then you can, if you want to commit, commit. But then you're going to make sure that you follow through because it's a choice that you're making. So this is a now a choice. But to understand, I think that's what's just a really revelation to this is understanding why you're, you are procrastinating. It's just simply because you've become untrustworthy to even yourself. You are now only going to commit to things that you that you want to do that you can do and will do. And then you're going to make the choice to follow through and the more and more you then make the, the just the mind switch of saying, okay, if I write this down in my planner and I'm deciding to do this, or if I say yes and then and commit to this person um, and write this down, I am going to follow through. I am going to meet up. I am going to do it. And it's just making that decision. It will be easy to do. You'll be like, well, I've committed. I got to do it. And you just kind of work on autopilot. It's who you are now. You, you are not a procrastinator. You are a doer of the word. You actually do what you say. And that is something that you are. The reason why we procrastinate is simply because we don't commit to what we say. 
begin to be the kind of woman that now only commits to what they she knows she can do and says yes and follows through this decision this choice when habit stacked upon will create a woman that follows through with everything she sets out to do and be a woman of promise. I hope that's really been a blessing to you.